My name is Leah de Barraud, and I'm a ship's captain. Three years ago, I was in command of Ocean Blue, a 5,000-ton cargo ship. One night, when I had finished my eight-hour watch and was preparing to go to bed, the alarm went off. I raced up to the bridge of the ship, but could see nothing wrong. Next thing, the engineer appeared from the engine room. <sighs> Captain, there's a fire in the main fuel pump. I checked the ship's safety system on the computer and saw smoke and fire in the engine room spreading rapidly. Send out a mayday call on the VHF radio, I commanded. Prepare to abandon ship, I called to the crew. All crew to lifeboat stations. Mayday! 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 This is cargo ship Ocean Blue. Position 051 degrees, 28 minutes north, 008 degrees, 28 minutes west, 20 miles south of the old Hidekin Sail. We are on fire and abandoning ship. Mayday! 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 My stomach churned with nerves, but I had been trained for this. I checked the weather forecast on the nav text and saw that there was a storm blowing in. I ran to the lifeboats. Prepare to launch, I called. And with a tremendous splash, the lifeboats hit the water. We pulled away from the burning ship. I activated the EPIRB, which would help the search and rescue team to find us. At that moment, one of the crew let out a yell. Here comes the storm! The men started to panic, rocking the boat. Stop moving, I commanded the men. The Court Bixere lifeboat can home in on our SART. They'll be here soon. Light the flare, I ordered. As the first officer shot the red flare into the dark, stormy night sky, I heard a voice issuing from the handheld VHF radio. Are you receiving us, Captain? Loud and clear, I replied, trying to keep the relief out of my voice. What is your location? I asked the coxswain of the lifeboat. Five minutes north of you. I let out a long sigh of relief as I looked up to see the flashing lights of the lifeboat approaching us and knew that finally we were all safe. Three years later, some of my men are still traumatized by the experience. But thanks to the amazing GMDSS technology and the lifeboat crew, we all live to tell the tale. And I have commanded many large cargo ships since that terrible, terrible night. <laughs>